and relax your arms and legs down to the ground. With your eyes closed. And just take a few moments to feel the body. I really like to start in Shavasana, even though we're gonna have some nice flowy movements later. It's always a nice start to take it easy in the beginning. And then here with your eyes closed, take a little scan of your body and feel how your body feels this morning. And allow all the different sensations to happen. If there's maybe you feel a little bit tired or maybe you feel super energized. So really dial into your mood. And if you feel you need to stay here a little bit longer, take your time, no rush. Only if you feel you want to start with some movements, bringing some movement from your fingers, from your toes. Following the air going in and out through your body. And then start to place your feet on the ground. So your knees pointing up to the ceiling. Have your hands next to your hips. And then squeeze your feet and your hands into the ground. As you inhale, you roll your hips up towards the ceiling. Push your hips off the ground and then exhale, send your hips back down again. Two more in your own rhythm with your breath. As you inhale, lift your hips. On your exhale, bring your hips back down. One more. As you inhale, roll your hips up. Push your feet into the ground. Exhale, hips down. We're going to do three more, but next time we bring our arms with us. So you squeeze your feet into the ground. As you inhale, you lift your hip, you lift your arms, bring your arms up and over your head. On your exhale, hips and arms back down to the floor. Two more. Inhale. Lift your hips, lift your arms up over your head. On your exhale, Bring your hips and your arms back down. One last time. On your inhale, lift your hips, lift your arms. Exhale, arms and hips back down. And then keep your feet on the ground, your hands next to your hips, and then unplug your right foot and bring the right foot over your left knee. And then maybe you need to find a better position for your left foot on the floor. Squeeze your left foot into the ground, Use your hands to help you. As you inhale, lift your hips up again. Lift your hips towards the ceiling with just one leg. Exhale, hips down. Two more. Inhale. Squeeze the left foot into the floor as you lift your hips up. Exhale, hips down. One more. Inhale. Lift your hips. Exhale. Hips down. And now lift your left leg off the ground. Reach with your hands for your left leg. Bring the right hand between the gap of your legs. And then try to catch hold of your left leg. So it could be the chin, the thigh, some leg to extend the free leg. Find your pose. And then find your hip stretch. And I'm pretty sure you're going to feel this somewhere in your right butt cheek muscles. So a nice way to lengthen out the lower back. Let's stay here for one more big, big, big inhale. Fill up your lungs. And then exhale out. Try to release the tension you can feel in your right butt cheek muscles. And then you release the grip of your left leg. Bring your left foot back to the floor. Open your arms wide. And now bring your legs closely together. So you have your legs crossed. Take one big inhale. As you exhale, drop your knees over 
to the left hand side of your yoga mat. Arms wide, like a T shape. And you have your legs here in this twist. And now bring your right arm over to your left hand. So your right shoulder lifts off the ground. Exhale, open your right arm back. So you're trying to bring your right shoulder to the floor. Inhale, lift the right arm up and try to bring it to your left hand. Exhale, open and bring your right arm back towards the floor on the right side. One more. Inhale, right hand to the left hand. Exhale, open and stay here. Your right arm on the right side of the yoga mat. And then feel this spinal twist. So it's still early in the day, kind of. So you maybe still feel some late in morning crustacean in your spine. Let's take one more big, big, big inhale here. Maybe you turn your head to the right side. And then a big exhale out. Oh. And then in your own time, make a transition back to center. And cross your legs, both feet on the floor. Feel your hips on the ground. And then switch, bring your left ankle across your right knee. Your leg, bring the hands back next to your hips. To support the movement, squeeze the right foot into the floor. Push your hands and your forearms down. As you inhale, lift your hips up again. Exhale, hips down. This might feel a little bit tricky, a bit wobbly. Inhale, lift your hips up. So try not to think too much about the movement. Let your intuition guide you as weird as it is. One more. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, hips back down. And then lift your right foot off the ground. Your left arm between the gap of your legs and then hold on to your right leg. And again, any position for your hands, the right shin bone, your thigh, or this time maybe you decide it's more comfortable on the second side of your body with one leg extended up to the ceiling. So play with the options and maybe a little tilt from your hips to the left and right until you find this sweet spot where you feel like, oh yeah, that's my right butt cheek muscle. And then find this sweet spot where you feel you can hang out a little bit longer Instead of going straight away to the point where you feel like, oh Jesus Christ, I have to leave the post straight away. And there's actually a fine line. <laughs> Take one more big inhale. Big exhale out. And then release the grip of your right foot. Open your arms wide to the side. Bring the left leg closer to your right leg, so you have this tight cross leg position again. And then taking one big inhale, and on your exhale, let your knee drop to the right side of your yoga mat. And then find a nice twist for your spine again on the second side of your body. And then you bring your left hand over to touch your right hand. Lift the left shoulder off the ground. As you exhale, open the chest, bring the left arm out to the left side again. Inhale, left hand over to the right. Exhale, open up again. One more. Inhale, left hand over to the right. Exhale, and stay here. Let your shoulders sink into the ground. And then explore the sensations in your spine. The difference from the left to the right side. Following the air going in and out through your body. 
and it's absolutely okay to feel a little bit stiff at this point of the top. Usually we do all these kinds of twists by the end. You really allow your body to warm up. And then inhale, coming back to center. And cross your legs. Place both feet again onto the ground. Maybe readjust the hips on the floor. Take a few moments to feel the difference in your body now. So when you've been here just a few minutes ago. And then if you like, you can roll up to sit over your side or you can bring your knees to your chest. Maybe starting with a gentle rock from side to side. And if you like to go by rocking back and forth, making your way up to sit, you can do this as well. Rocking up and down your spine. And then coming up to sit. Find a comfortable cross leg seated position. And then wiggle your hips into a comfortable spot. Have your hands on your knees, and then let's take one big spine around by leaning over to the left, to the front, to the right. Back to center, now we go the other way. Starting to the right, over to the left, and back straight. Inhale, lift your arms up. Take one big inhale, and now we twist to the right side. Twist your upper body to the right. Your left hand to your right knee, your right hand somewhere behind you. And I know some of you, you may like to reach your right arm around, find your inner left leg. But no rush, if you feel this might be available for you later in the day when the body is more warmed up. So find a nice comfortable stretch for your spine. Inhale, reach both arms up. Coming to center, exhale, twist over to the left. Trying to keep the spine straight. And then your right hand to your left hand, your left knee, sorry. <laughs> that will be interesting. And then the left hand somewhere behind you, maybe you like to play to bring your left hand somewhere to the inside of your right leg. Or maybe you want to gaze over your back shoulder. Taking one more big inhale here. And then on the exhale, bring both arms up. Exhale, release your hands down to the floor. Crawl your hands out in front of you. And cross your legs. And then come into a comfortable tabletop position. So your hands under your knees. Under your shoulders, your knees, look under your hips, comfortable position. And then from here, as you inhale, you drop the belly, lift your gaze, lift the sit bones, exhale, round into cat pose. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift the gaze, cow pose. Exhale, round, back to cat pose. One more. On your inhale, try to lengthen up your spine, lift your gaze, exhale, round back to your cat pose. And then you come back to neutral table pose and sit your hips back to child's pose, first child's pose of this class. Enjoy. Oh. Maybe you missed child's pose and were wondering if we're going to do this this morning. Yep, we do this. And you know, you always take child's pose when you need it. Don't wait for me to give you permission to take your child's pose. You know when it's time for you to pause. So from here, so you feel into your spine, from the tailbone up to the crease of your neck, relax the shoulders. You know you can stay here and we will come back here so there's no need to rush out of this pose if you need to pause. If you like to play, bring your arms out in front of you, push your hands into the floor, come onto your hands and knees 
and then keep your hips lifted, bring your chest to the floor, slide your chest down, coming to a cobra pose, lift your chest, roll the gaze up, and then push your hands and knees into the floor, coming back to child's pose. Let's do two more. Inhale, make your way to your cobra as you're trying to keep your upper body close to the floor. Lift your hips from your heels. Trying to bring the chest close to the floor. Lift up cobra, roll the shoulders back. Squeeze your hands into the ground. Exhale, hips back to your heels. One last round, if you like. From child's pose. Hands, forearms on the floor. Your face close to the ground. Lift the hips and now bring your hips down. Lift the chest, roll back to cobra. Exhale, back to child's pose. Keep your arms out in front of you. Feel the length of your spine. And of course, as always, you can take child's pose as long as you like. But from here, for those of you who want to keep moving, coming back to table pose. Find a comfortable position for your hands and knees on the ground. And then start to lift and extend your left leg to the back. Both hands on the floor. And now bring your left knee in towards your chest. Keep it off the ground and then open your left leg to the side and swim it back. Imagine you swim with one leg. Push your left leg back. Bring your left knee in again. Use your core muscles. Open it to the side. Push your left leg back. One last time. As you inhale, bring the left knee in. Use your core. Open the left leg to the side and then push it back. Keep it lifted. And now place your left foot onto the ground behind you, left foot flat, kind of 90 degree angle, right hand on the floor, right knee on the floor, left foot squeezes into the ground and then circle your left arm up to the ceiling. Then really push your right hand into the floor, right hand reaches up, squeeze your left hand reaches up, left foot squeeze into the floor, and now circle your left hand to the back side, towards the ground, and then circle your left arm up again. And then straight to the back, a little bit of shoulder mobilization. One last round. Circle your left arm up, to the back, towards the ground, and then lift it up one last time. And then reach your left arm over your head, Left fingertips away from your left toes. Strong right arm. One big inhale. Exhale. Left hand down. Bring your left knee in. Inhale. Drop the belly. Lift your gaze. Exhale. Round. Cat pose. Inhale. Find your cow pose moving through your spine. Exhale, cat pose. One more time. As you inhale, long spine. On your exhale, back to cat pose. And then you're coming back to neutral table. Tuck the toes. Push your hands and feet into the floor. Lift the knees. Shift your hips up to the ceiling. Bring your legs to your version of straight. Maybe you go straight into a walking dog, first down dog of this class. Move your neck, move your legs. And you can keep your knees bent as long as you like. And each time you come back to down dog, really feel free to have your legs in any position that feels right on your body. No need to come to any where what is anywhere in the world idolize a straight legs. And then from here, slide forwards to plank. From down dog to plank. Exhale back, down dog. Inhale, come to plank pose. Strong arms, lift out of your shoulders. Strong core, exhale back, down dog. One last time. Coming to plank. 
and then back to down the dog shaking out your head maybe a few more leg movements and then bring your knees back down uh, so maybe you want to come to child's pose or you stay here at tabletop if you with your hands and knees on the floor lift and extend your right leg to the back both hands on the round soft neck and then on your inhale bring the right knee to your chest use your core muscles again open your right leg to the side and now extend it back inhale bring the right knee to your core open it to the side and then swim it back let's do one more bring the right knee in open your right leg to the side extend the right leg back and then place the right foot to the round left hand on the floor left knee on the floor circle your right arm up to the ceiling squeeze your right foot into the floor right hand reaches up strong left arm and then here you decide if you want to turn the gaze down for more balance looking down to your left hand if you want to challenge the balance you can look to the side if you feel the need for more, you can look up to your right fingertips. And then whatever you decide to turn your gaze, now circle your right arm to the back, towards the mat. Circle it up to the ceiling, drawing big circles to the back, down towards the ground. Lift your right arm up again and back. And the next time we come up with the right arm, keep the right arm up over your head and pull the right fingertips away from your right foot. Imagine you could create space between each rib, the right side of your body. One more big inhale, make yourself long. On the exhale, right hand back to the floor, right knee in. Three more cat and cow stretches in your own rhythm. As you inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, round to your cat pose. Try to make space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, cow pose. Lift the sit bones. Exhale, back to cat. Try to pull the navel to your spine. One more, inhale, cow pose. And then exhale back, cat pose. And here you can come to a child's pose if you like, or you tuck the toes, lift the knees, shift back to your version of down the dog. And you can really always walk the dog. No worries if your heels are lifted, if the knees are bent. Find your down dog. And then from here, shaking out your head, yes, 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 no, no, no. Come onto your toes and walk your feet to your hands. Walk the feet in. So you hear this forward fold. Shuffle your feet open to hip distance apart. Relax your neck. And then have your, your hands on the ground and the, the right fingertips on the floor or somewhere on your lower leg. Bend your right leg. Try to bring your left leg towards straight and lift your left arm up to the ceiling. Maybe it's okay for your neck to look up to the ceiling. Whatever adjustment you decide to do, first make sure that you can breathe. Always make sure that your breath can spill in and out through your body freely and that you're always conscious of your breath. Exhale, left hand down. Bend your left leg, bring your right leg towards straight and now bring the right arm up. Maybe on your left fingertips, maybe you hold on to your left leg. Maybe you can easily bring the left palm to the ground. Remember there's no 
such thing in yoga as one like that one pose is always your pose reach the right arm up enjoy the stretch with the back side of your right leg exhale right hand down and then bend both of your knees shake off your head again your shoulders bend your knees and then on the inhale roll up towards standing roll the shoulders back reach your arms up on your exhale dive straight into a full foot fold either hands on your knees hands on the ground or the fingertips you decide as you inhale lengthen the spine on your exhale step back to plank pose from plank you can always drop the knees if you like bend the knees drop the chest or you go keeping your chest straight your choice inhale roll to your cobra pose lift the gaze roll the shoulders back and exhale we meet in down the dog and again you can use your knees and your hips to the heels and then lift the hips up or you press straight to plank and from plank to down the dog and then here in down dog maybe you keep walking your dog if you like you shake out your head spread your fingers wide have your hands at least shoulder distance apart your fingers can be turned out to the side if that helps to find more balance and feeling more stable from your arms same for your feet go to any position that feels best on your body and then inhale coming back onto the toes lift your heels maybe bend your knees look to your fingers exhale walk your feet to the front lengthen out your spine halfway as you inhale exhale forward fold and then with the next inhale you rise all the way up to standing reach your arms up exhale dive straight back to your forward fold inhale half lift exhale step back to plank if you want to skip that vinyasa go straight to down dog or you lower your body down knees down or not inhale cobra pose exhale we meet in down the dog back in your down dog you're trying to shift your hips up towards the ceiling and your hands and feet trying to root down into the ground you're trying to pull the navel to the spine and strong legs and you're still focusing on your deep conscious breath going in and out through your nose And then from here, maybe we start to add a few more movements. Let's see if you like. And you're still with me. Come on to your toes on the inhale. Lift your heels. Exhale, step your feet to the front. Lengthen your spine as you inhale. On your exhale, dive into your forward fold inhale come all the way up to standing reach both arms up feel free to add a back bend if that feels good on your body and then with your exhale straight back to your forward fold inhale half lift exhale back to plank pulse maybe straight to down dog or you could guide your body down on your exhale inhale roll up to your cobra exhale we meet in down the dog back and down the dog you may be thinking like oh my god it's already too much too many down dogs so now you know you don't have to do anything of what i say everything is optional maybe you decide to go back to shavasana 
that should be cool. Maybe that's exactly what you need today. If you like, from this down dog, you bring your right foot in between your hands. Then spin your back foot flat, both hands framing your front right foot. Maybe you walk the right foot a little bit closer to your right hand. And then squeeze both feet into the floor, strong legs, bend your front knee, strong core as you inhale, reach both arms up and open your arms to warrior two. So you're trying to sink into your front knee, arms on shoulder level, and then your right fingertips the front extended arm pulls out in front of you, at the same time your left hand pulls you back. Trying to sink into your front right knee, and now this starts to burn and shake quite early. And if you start to feel this, this should make you smile. So nice to feel your body. And then from here, take one deep inhale, trying to sink a little bit deeper into your front knee. Exhale, ha, push it straight. Both legs straight, inhale, reach up with your right arm and then bring the right hand somewhere on the ground or onto your right leg, lift your left arm up. Strong legs, maybe you need to shuffle your feet in a little bit closer. So you really wanna have solid contact with both feet on the floor so that you can really use the muscles of your legs. So you can have the right hand on the inside of your front foot, on the outside, maybe on the shin band. So find where you belong. And then if you like, bring the left hand behind you, maybe to the sacrum. Some of you maybe find your inner right thigh, trying to open up the shoulder. And again, only if it's okay for your neck, you can look up to the ceiling. If you have your left hand behind your back, you can keep it there as you start to bend your right leg again. And then from here, you lift your right arm, reach it up and back, doing the peaceful warrior, and then bring your left arm out, circle both hands back down to the floor, come onto your back toes, step your right foot back to plank, from plank, option one is child's pose, option two, down dog, option three, do a vinyasa with me, knees on the ground or around, your choice, guide your body down, inhale, roll up, cobra pose, beautiful, exhale, chin down, and we meet in down the dog, remember you can use your knees, send your hips to the heels, and then lift up. So give your body time to build up the strength for that transition. And sometimes it feels we're almost there and we can play with those planks, these push-ups with the knees lifted. Sometimes it's thought that you can lower down without your knees. For some of us it's the other way around. It's easier to press up without the knees. But every now and then it's actually nice to use the knees for the transitions. So from here, if you like, bring your left leg in between your hands, stay on your back toes, bring the left foot in between your hands. And again, I always like to recommend to have the front foot closer to the closer hand, so the left foot to the left hand. And then spin your back right foot flat, strong legs. Really squeeze your feet into the ground. Use your core. And then from here, with your strong legs, front knee bend, you reach your arms up and open your arms to warrior two. So now you're gazing over your front left fingertips, trying to sink into your front left knee. Your right arm is your back arm, pull it back. And you're trying to keep the front knee bent. And especially if you start to feel this, it's always a happy moment. You're like, oh yeah, can't wait to leave this pose. So what's next? So from here, 
before we come to triangle pose. Let's try and enjoy this a little bit more and then exhale, ha, huh? now it's time. Bring the front leg straight, maybe shuffle the back foot a little closer and then in here, reach out with the left arm, left hand down, maybe on the outside of the front foot, inside, maybe on the front knee, right arm up. If you really take your time to find your position, if you have any yoga props, a block or if you don't have a block but you feel like you need something, a water bottle would be something, anything solid. You can always use your fingertips, it's a nice way to actually strengthen the muscles of your fingers. And keep reaching high with your right hand and then maybe you want to bring the right hand behind you. So this could be here by your hip, by your sacrum, some of you can easily reach around and find your inner left thigh. So you decide where you belong on this side. So left and right are never the same. So maybe if you like to play, be gentle on yourself. And if it's not working today, just give it. Life will go on. <laughs> so there's no price waiting for you if you can do any fancy contortions. And then unfortunately we leave this pose, bend your front leg, strong legs, lift your left arm off the ground, keep your front knee bent, lift your left hand up and over your head, and now release your right hand and cartwheel both hands down to the floor, frame your front foot with both hands, come on your back toes, step your left foot back, Maybe this time you decide you want to skip the vinyasa and you go straight to down dog. And then from here, let's lower down. Inhale, roll up to cobra. Open the shoulders, lift the gates. Exhale, chin down. And then we meet in down dog. Press back to down the dog. Maybe with the knees, maybe you come through plank pose. And from here you really squeeze your hands into the floor, take one big, big, big inhale through the nose, open your mouth and side out, let it go, ha. And from here and down the dog, wiggle your jaw from left to right, relieve all the tension that build up in our faces, maybe Move a few more times from left to right with your jaw and then close your mouth again, but keep a little space between your teeth. And here maybe you want to press back to the back side of your knees. And then you come onto your toes. Exhale, bring your feet to the front again. Walk your feet in. Lift the chest as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold. And then here, stay in this forward fold. And now in this forward fold, for a lot of us, it's tricky to bring the hand to the ground. It's somewhere here. So if you have maybe a chair, a stool, water bottles, or whatever might help you, do you have your hands on the ground for this one? If you can bring the fingers down, fine. And then shift the weight into your right foot. Lift your left leg off the ground. So no... Don't worry, we don't, we don't do your favorite pose, standing splits. You just lift the left leg as a transition and now you place your left foot behind your right foot. And here, anywhere where you have both soles of the feet on the ground. Squeeze the feet into the floor. And then from here, let me think, so from here, you have your left hand on the ground or the left fingertips on the floor or whatever prop you might use. So left hand is down. As you inhale, lift your right arm up. Try to keep your legs strong. Left hand really strongly into the ground, right arm reaches up. One more big, big inhale. Exhale, right hand down. Shift the weight into your right foot, lift your left leg, 
and then left foot back to the ground. Lift the chest halfway on the inhale, exhale, dive to the forward fold, shift the weight into your left foot, lift your right leg, right leg lifts up, exhale, right foot behind your left leg. So again, even though my legs probably kind of looking straight, if that's not an option for you, you have your knees bent, so really go with your body. And then from here, you have your right hand on the ground, maybe on the front leg, and then open your chest to the left, reach your left arm up. Strong legs. Try to keep the balance in this funky twist as you reach your left arm up. Maybe you look to the side. Imagine we were in one classroom and we were facing each other, imagine you would give a smile to me. <laughs> Reach your left arm up, exhale, left hand down, and then squeeze the left foot into the ground, lift your right leg, exhale, right foot meets the left foot. Lift your spine halfway, exhale, forward fold, and we stay here, shuffle your feet open, maybe to mat distance apart and bend your knees and come into the yogi squat. So from here, and now this is also one of the poses for some people, they somewhere on the toes, so it's not easy for them or not even possible to have the heels on the ground. That's, that's fine, that shouldn't bother you. But if you feel this is weird, you can roll up the yoga mat and have something under your heels. So then you get the same sensation like people with the heels on the ground. So from here, I'm just turning to this side so you can see what I'm planning to do with my right arm. So you have your knees out to the side, trying to let your hips sink in towards the ground, lean forward. And now we're trying to create a noose with your right arm around the right leg. So your right arm reaches to the front and around your right knee. And maybe you have the back of your right hand somewhere by your right hip. Perfect. That's it. No need to go any further. And then you're trying to lift your left arm up and bring the left arm behind you. So maybe your left hand ends also somewhere by the sacrum. Perfect. These all the palms on the range of motion we have in our joints. So for some of us it will actually be possible to find the fingertips behind us. So if you can, maybe you find the fingertips. If not, you just stay here because I'm pretty sure you will find an incredible stretch for your upper body, for the shoulders. And it's also a nice way to open up, to hang out a little bit in the hips, unlock the hips in lockdown times. Let's take one more big inhale here. Exhale, release your hands, both hands to the ground. Good news is only two arms, two legs. So we just do this once more, one more time, and then that, yeah, whatever that was, is over. So from here, we're just trying to do the same thing or similar with the left side. So you're still in the squat, and now you reach your left arm to the side. As you move around, you turn the back of your left hand down, trying to bend your left arm and then maybe the back of your left hand is by your hip and then try to reach your right arm up and bring the right hand to your back and again so maybe there's a big gap between the fingers don't worry about it but for those of you if you find your fingers behind you of course you can use it, a yoga belt or a scarf or a towel if you have something like that if you want to try this later that's also an option that helps to close the gap if you have a belt or a towel that you can hold on to. And then stay here for a few more breaths. Also exploring the difference from the left to the right side. You probably find that there's a different sensation from the shoulders, a different range of motion. Let's take one more inhale. And then exhale, 
So let's bring the left hand back down to the ground, right hand back. You lift the chest, then you bring the palms together, squeeze your elbows into your knees. Palms together, lift the chest. And then exhale, bring the hands behind you to the ground, sit down. Ha. So no more down dogs, no more vinyasas. Here we are back on our bond. <laughs> and then here for the next one, you can sit with your legs crossed if that's fine for you. If you feel you want to do some more for your hips, you can bring the left out in front of you. Lift the right foot on top of your left thigh and then bend your left leg so you're sitting in something. For some of you can do lotus pose, you can see I can't do lotus, it's not possible with my bones, but I could do this lotus version. If that's not working for you, just sit cross legged. And then from here, on the inhale, you reach your arms up. And now you bring your right hand next to your right ear. The left arm is still up. And now you bring the left hand over to your right ear. And then maybe you crawl the right fingers a little bit out to the side. And then gently pull your left ear to your left shoulder. And maybe you need to tilt your chin to the chair, so you need to lift it up. So here you really have to decide for yourself. So at some point you're going to start to find a nice stretch here on the side of your neck. And you can also play with the position of the right hand to get a really nice stretch for the neck. So it might be nice after all the time that we spend on our electronic devices bend forward just to give the neck a little rest. And then from here, let your left hand slide to your left ear, lift your head up, reach your arms up, exhale both hands down. If you have this lotus variation or if it's a cross leg, if you want to change the cross leg position, bring your legs out to the side. If you want to do the other lotus version, bring the left leg left foot on top of your right leg, bend your right leg and then here we are again, last little bit and then reach your arms up and now you keep your right arm up, left hand next to your left hip, bring your right arm over to your left ear and then gently bring your head, your right ear to your right shoulder. And then that's the part where you have to take over. So really go to find your stretch. So you want to find the stretch somewhere here now on the left side of your neck. So maybe you can do something with the position of your left hand, maybe tilting the head down or lift the, your gaze and then find the sweet spot on your left, the le left side of your neck. And again, trying to focus on your breath. And especially when we start to feel these deep stretches, that's often the moment when we start to hold the breath. But then just come back, acknowledging the fact that you may have been somewhere else. And then slide the right hand back, bring the head up, lift both arms up, exhale, hands down. If you feel super comfortable with your legs in lotus pose, you can see here. Or if you want to come into a cross leg position, because that's the last little bit of this practice, so we're going to end in a seated pose. So wherever you feel comfortable to sit, legs crossed, if you want to grab a pillow or something, just any position where you can sit with your spine straight, relax the shoulders. Rest your hands on your knees or in your lap and then close your eyes. Maybe one more. Lift the shoulders up. Roll your shoulders down your back. And relax the shoulders. Close your eyes a second time. And with your hands on your knees or in your lap. 
space relax. Your belly soft. And just try to observe the air spilling in and out through your nose. Feeling the air spilling in and out through your nose. Observe your body. Take your time for a little body scan. Try to remember how your body felt at the very beginning of this class. And how do you feel now? And just keep giving yourself three or five more rounds. And you just observe your breath. Feel your belly expand when you inhale. And feel the release when you exhale. slowly bring your awareness back to the space around you feel where your sit bones touch the floor bring your awareness back to the sounds around you And bring your palms together in prayer pose in front of your heart. Gently bow your forehead to your fingertips and open your eyes. And with this forward fold, you bow down to yourself. Paying gratitude to yourself, taking time for yourself and the yoga practice. Thank you for joining me this morning. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Namaste, everyone.